Hello everybody, Tom the Dilettante here. Hope you're all doing well. How many of you have been stuck doom scrolling through YouTube because you stumbled upon something that you just found interesting? Well, one of my examples of a 2 a.m. doom video watch is a black bean trailer, which I actually stumbled upon in the wild here at the Kiwina Overland Adventure Retreat here in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. So today I'm gonna to walk you through. We have Denny, he's actually a bean ambassador, and we're gonna go through his new rig and uh, see if you like it. Okay, before we introduce you to Denny, this is the Bean Trailer, more specifically the Black Bean. They're top of the line, correct? Top of correct. the line trailer. This is what I actually stumbled upon and I just fell in love with it. And so now we're gonna introduce Denny and Denny's gonna walk us around this trailer, which he's had since December of 2022. So Denny, thank you so much for hey, joining me on for this having one. me. Walking around. Great camping next to you up here. So the base price, the, the Black Bean is their top of the line. It starts at about $39,000. And that's configured as totally off-road rig. I mean, it's got the timber and suspension comes with that. You get two lithium batteries with the solar array. The nice. Red Arc controller comes with it. The Light Leaf solar panel comes with that configuration. The premium galley that we'll show you in a bit comes with that also. And then you can start adding from there. You get a lot of bang for your buck for the base you, model. You really do. The base model starts out great. And then the options are, it's like a menu. You just go through their uh, customized builder on their website at beantrailer.com and you select the options that you want to add to that base configuration. My came out to about $50,000. Okay, so as configured, what you're going to walk us through today is uh, the base plus the accessories up to about 50K. That's right. Let, let me share with you why you might consider a trailer like this, especially given the price point. And uh, Denny, you share with me some awesome reasons why you opted for something of this square footage over something larger. Um, what, was, what was your rationale there? Well, one of the, I've always been a, a remote dispersed camper, but I was doing it in hammocks and tents. And as I got older, I'm 70 years old. And as I got in the late 60s, the uh, winter camping was starting to suck the life out of me. So I thought <laughs> I need to get up off the ground but I still wanted something that would go to the very remote areas that I, in the dispersed camping. I go way up in the mountains, I go way out in the desert. I take some pretty technical trails to get to the, the views and the vistas that I want to see. Gotcha. So I needed something that would follow the, the forerunner everywhere I, I went. So yeah. who is this for? This is for people like Denny who want something that is reliable, strong, beefy. Yes, it's got a little bit of a higher price point, but as we're going to see, I saw a preliminary walk around, you get a lot for your money. And the fact that this can go almost anywhere, if not everywhere, that you can take a 4Runner, a Tacoma, a GX or whatnot, that's who this is going to be for. If you're just gonna be doing trail roads, established campgrounds and so forth, it might be a little overkill. Would you agree right. or disagree? I would agree totally okay. with that. So the number one feature when I asked Denny about this trailer is, as he said, the galley. So let's take a closer look at that. As a chef, one of the key important things for me was I like to cook. Uh, and I don't cook hot dogs when I'm camping. I, last, the other night I made Thai curry chicken for four or five of the people that are here. I was impressed with the galley that Bean has. I get a 14-inch uh, deep stainless steel sink. Um, I have hot water on demand. The galley system's all accessible from inside the trailer also. So I put all my night snacks in these trofasts from Ikea, and I can slide these out and grab my snacks from the inside so I don't have to get out at night and come around. It all latches down so that there's no wobble in the forerunner. Um, I've got the Dometic 55. This stays on all the time. There's plenty of solar in this unit. The uh, cabinets are all made out of marine grade plywood with easy clothes. I've got plenty of storage in here. There's more storage under the sink for my cleaning supplies, my propane hoses, things like that. The stove is a Cook Partner stove. It's all aluminum, opens up here. I've got the gases down here. I've got my, my vents, I've got my uh, panels for the side to keep the wind from blowing my flames out. I have the discata mount in the storage unit that comes out here and holds a 18 inch uh, Southwest disc discata, which I use more than I do the cook stove 
Uh, it just seems it's more convenient for me. And everything is easily packed up and put away at the end of that. Um, I've got the lighting system. If I'm in a situation where the flies or the, or the bugs are attracted by the white LED lights, I have a panel over here that gives me lighting above and I can control this color of the light and find something like the red that the, the bugs don't care for and it's plenty of light for me to use the galley with. So this was an option I didn't know if I wanted and they actually introduced it halfway through the build and when I saw that they had it on their website I called Cindy Harling at Bean and said yeah I gotta have that because I need as much space to prep as I can and it's my coffee station there's an electrical 110 outlet below here but it's also my cutting board and I can sit here the stoves here I can prep here put that away if I want to make a charcuterie board I take that off I can set up my board present it put this all away after I've washed it and it just folds back up and latches in I'm not a really small guy, I'm kind of a big guy, so I appreciated the fact that Bean had these enormous doors. They're a lot bigger than what I found on most of the competition. It's got the uh, RV lock system, so I can use a key, I can use a, a push button, or I can, use a, I can lock in a code and open the doors with the code. Another feature that I didn't find in a lot of the uh, trailers this size with Bean put it, it does have a full screen door. So if it's summer, I can turn the max air fan on, have the door shut, and pull all that air through here without getting all the, the critters in with me. And then that just locks in. And everybody thinks this is a dartboard. This is just a privacy enclosure. So if I want a little light from the portal here, I can uh, open it up. And if I'm getting dressed inside, I can close it. So that was another feature I haven't seen. On, I think it's out there for other trailers. I haven't seen it yet. It's a four and a half inch memory foam bed that converts into a couch and a table in the middle pops up and there's a well in the bottom. So when you're sitting in there, it's very comfortable. The couch is very comfortable and I get to look out the picture window. So if I'm in a scenic location up at the edge of the world or uh, look, I have a nice scenic vista, I can sit there and drink my morning coffee or get on my computer and and work some magic on that while I'm looking at the outside with the heater on if it's winter and uh, it, the table just makes it really convenient. I sleep well in this, it's very comfortable. Um, I've got the back cushions was an option I'm glad I went with because I have these two back cushions and I can throw my pillows up here. I have a 4K projector that hot spots to my phone and the screen pulls out of the uh, cabinet up on top. So inside, I have these push to open drawers and I keep a lot of my maps and things in here. Um, all the cabinets have the secure open so I can reach my Trofast system that I showed you in the galley from in here. So I can keep my night snacks in here. I keep bottled water in here. We have storage up above. There's plenty of storage up here. So I keep my walking stick. There's some wine up here, extra lighting, uh, all kind of goodies, whatever I decide to throw up here. And that secures. Uh, I have LED lighting in the ceiling that's controllable. I can bring that down. We have the max air fan with the remote. It's a 10 speed. I can uh, turn the max air fan on. I have more storage up on top here. It's like a big giant cubby hole. It really holds a lot of clothing and goodies up here. Um, of course, we got our carbon monoxide alarm, smoke alarm, fire extinguisher. The Arctic turn windows are very nice. Um, they're a double pane window that, that latches. They're very secure. They have a, a privacy screen and they have three stages that you can open them. And privacy screen here and the screen system here locks in. My control center down here for the red vision, uh, the red arc system, all my breaker panel breakers, my Truma control for the propane heaters down here, another carbon monoxide. 
I have an AC outlet in here. Um, so this is the, the heart of the system that I can reach from inside the trailer and control all the options that I need. One of the other options on the door was a lot of the people didn't accommodate the fact that in the wind the doors were slamming shut on them. So what Bean did was they actually took this from the ambulance companies and this is what the ambulances use to hold their doors latched in the, in the wind. So that's pretty much there. It's not going anywhere. I haven't had it close on me yet. Moving on to the storage box. All this is lockable and latchable. But it has a Dometic slider in here. And this is where I store my Descada, my Honda generator, my hoses, my electrical, my propane, a lot of the stuff for the awnings that we have, a uh, little bit of lighting, some battery operated stuff. The Descada mount is here, and that's the piece that we showed. They manufactured this in-house. It's, uh, it's a mount that mounts to the back of my cook partner stove and holds that Descada up there and lets me cook with that. And then it's, it locks open. It locks in. On the solar side, this is the Lightleaf 140 watt panel that mounts, it's locked in here, and it's protecting my picture window from rock chips when I'm traveling. It does come off, it has a 70 foot cable that I can park the trailer in the shade, bring the, tr bring the solar panel out in the sun and get maximum sun out of it. It uh, connects into the Red Arc manager system that's installed down here. I opted for the extra two lithium ion batteries from Lion and the system is mounted in here with a 1500 watt inverter. Um, I have complete control of the system from my cell phone. It monitors, tells me um, where my batteries are at. If they're over temperature, the fan, the batteries are mounted on a platform with ventilation underneath. The fan starts drawing air over, out so that the batteries have fresh air coming through them and cooling them. And it tells me if I'm out of spec, if I'm running low on power, which I have yet to do with 480 amp hours of power on these batteries. Uh, the system's uh, pretty much state of the art. It's all from uh, man. It's all managed by the Red Arc system from Australia. The 230 shower stall, four x four shower stall, pops out. I have a hot water on demand heater in this box from Bean, and it's the Eco Temp heater. I've got the sh the shower head here. Once the shower stalls open, that mounts up inside there and gives me a shower. I carry a stainless steel Bilka toilet upstairs. So I have a little bamboo mat that rolls out here. I get a shower, I get a cedar based toilet down here. And these are all stand on. So when I'm out needing to get to anything in the toolbox upstairs, I can just grab, step up in here, step up on these fenders. They support 350 pounds and they're covering my um, suspension system, which is completely independent uh, suspension. It's, uh, we're on the um, BF Goodrich KO2 tire system with a heavy duty off-road wheel. Uh, we're 22 inches off the ground. The Bean also, one of the things they uh, offer is a cloud suspension system, which lets you get from 24 inches down to uh, 18 or 20 inches and instead of just levelers they've given the pro jack series on here I can actually jack this up change the tire besides leveling I've got a full jack back here too it's very hefty very heavy duty I've got my spray port here for this unit got my Truma heater exhaust here my uh, gray water out into a can that I keep there and my water fill here all right, Denny, thank you so much for the quick high-level overview. Uh, for viewers who would like to learn more about the black bean or bean in general, uh, where can they go? They can go to beantrailer.com. There's a online configurator there that lets you select one of the many models that they offer. Uh, the models start at 22,000 for their bean stalker, uh, or their bean stock, and then they have the stalker as a good off-road unit, but you can put the features that you want. You can see what each model comes with, add, what you want to do and it'll give you pricing and uh, right now their productions they do have some stock models but uh, right now the average production time is about three months which in this industry that's pretty quick they're a big organization based out of salt lake city um, 
they're ready to go. They're really selling trailers, so they've pumped it up where they've got a lot of employees producing these things. Very good. And uh, you have a channel yourself, don't you? I do. I have, uh, I'm Denny Simpson on Facebook. I am Gray Haired Overlander on Instagram and YouTube. You can just check me out with Gray, G-R-E-Y, Haired Overlander, and find me on my channel and follow me around the country doing what I love to do. It's outstanding. Well, awesome walk around. Uh, as everyone knows, I like to keep my videos short, so hopefully this whetted your appetite. Do check out the site, check out his Instagram, check out his YouTube, Gray Hair Overlander, and thank you for sharing. Thank you for the inspiration. No problem. This is, uh, it's hard to say no to something like this. There's I won't a sticker lie. for you. Outstanding. All righty. Thank you very much. Again, All this right. is Tom the Dilettante. Thank you for joining me, and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.